What is up? What is up? I hope everybody's having a good evening. Welcome back, my friends. Hello, hello. Another cooking show with Mrs. AAP. Yeah. She's got the collards in the pot. You putting the collards in this pot over here? Yeah. I just need something to hold them on. My grandfather used to always say the best way to season your collards is to, uh, your collards is to jump in the pot with them. Sweeten them up. <laughs> I'm just over here de-ribbing them. Um, when we do collards at home, I like them, you know, good fat squares, and I also like them de-ribbed. Hey, Mac Eats, good to see you, brother. All of the ribs I'm taking out, um, the backbone of the leaves. Now, um, there wasn't a huge selection at the store of collards. Some of them look a little rough. I did wash them, but I grabbed a couple bags just to show you all the difference as well. These bags are freezable. Just so you all know, you can freeze leafy greens. And hey, Wendy, good fine. evening. How you doing, Wendy? Dank brownies. Hey, What's up, bro? Mac hey. Eats, always good to see you all. What's up, Ghost Pirate? Good evening, brother. <laughs> So yeah, collards are one of those weird leafy greens that you can freeze, you guys. So, because um, usually you boil them and you don't care if they're going to be wilting. You can see I've already got a good um, bunch here in the pan. And you see how I like them? I like them big and chunky. But when you actually come over here, you can see when you get the store-bought ones, um, they chop them up and they leave the rib, they leave, you know, the backbone of the green. And they make them really small. Heck yeah, Chef Life. What's up, Brother Barbara Randa? Good to see y'all. Hope everybody's having a happy Friday. So, um, this is a collard green, you guys. They're typically a fall, winter type um, plant, so you'll see abundance of them in the market in the fall and winter. And um, when you buy them by the bundle here, they're usually like this. So, they're, they're tied up. Um, they've been rinsed down a little bit, but I always come back and re-rinse them before I do anything after I untie them. Um, and then I will come over here and actually flip them over so that I have the rigid side of the backbone up. And then I just run my knife right along the side of them. Good evening, Chris side. Miller. Hey, Chris. And that way you actually get the rib out of the back of the collard green. Um, and again, guys, I like mine when I do them. I leave them pretty healthy pieces like that. Barbara so, Randa says, what is up to Mrs. Hey, AAP? Barbara Randa, good to see you, darling. Um, so I've got two bunches here. They're going to wilt down, you guys. Collard greens, they could be overwhelming when you're looking at them, but they're going to fall and wilt down when they bowl. Um, and so I just want everybody to know, I always buy extra collard greens. Just Lee, what is up? What is up? How you doing, Just so Lee? Right now, I can tell that I'm definitely going to go ahead and do another section over here of the greens. Greg Manley, what's up, brother? Hey, Greg. Just Lee has some awesome copyright-free beats. Y'all check them out. They do a great job making the music. I was um, over there listening to them yesterday. I recommend everybody checking them out. They're copyright free. They make them for all the YouTubers to use for their content. So if y'all need some extra music, check out Just Lee. And I had to show the boys in the restaurant how to do these the right way. Because you always want to rinse collard greens. When they're coming to you, they're essentially coming out of the field. Um, so you want to make sure that you rinse those down um, with cold water and make sure there's no caterpillars in between them. Um, make sure you don't have any kind of rough ones like that's a rough looking one and I'll tear the top off of it. Um, you always kind of want to prep the food you're going to be feeding your family and that's kind of a rough looking green too on one half so I'll split it like that. Um, and I've done that with the other bundles as well. You just want to make sure there's no dust and dirt and sand. Usually these grow really well in a sandy, loamy soil, so you will get sand on them um, that needs to come off, as well as caterpillars. What's um, up, Zero Out the E? What's going on, my friend? What's up, my brother Moose? How you doing tonight, my friend? You having some steak stir fry? Oh my goodness. I've had plenty of collard greens, y'all, that had caterpillars in them. So, um... Barbaranda! It, it could be a surprise when you open them up and see that. Barbaranda said you got a nice sink. We've got number yeah, one, Karma Ghost, in here. How you doing tonight, Karma Ghost? Always a pleasure to see you. I hope everybody yeah. in here is having a happy Friday and a good evening so far. So, just that little bit of extra prep right there of washing all the sand and dirt off will save you at the end. 
and also let you check for any caterpillars that may have climbed up in there during frost. Blackbirds so. burrowed exotics. Wow. Heck yeah. <laughs> what is up, my friend? Welcome to the channel, and I hope you're having a great evening. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. So um, they're starting to get some of the meats out for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I found me some salted pork, which is almost the same as that uh, the hog jaw bacon I showed you. Um, I also found dun, 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 some fat back. Um, so we're going to put some fat back in here. Now, I already snuck the pack of um, ham hocks open. I got one ham hock in there um, about to come up to a bowl over here. If you and, use um, ham hocks for Thanksgiving or anything, I recommend y'all going and getting them because they sell out of that stuff fast. Yeah, and I use ham hocks in all of my big batches of greens, my turnips. Um, I also use ham hocks and rutabagas. And I was so close to getting a rutabaga tonight, but I figured it would just be too much. I want the kids to be able to enjoy some baked beans. Ontario Grown Buds, what's up my friend? So Mrs. AAP likes to season the water before she puts the collards in. She's got the ham hock in here boiling down to get that meaty flavor into the water. We also add a little bit of salt and sugar to taste. My grandfather said with collards, you got to jump in the pot if you want to sweeten them up. So that was saying you got to get your collards education. That's what we got going on right now. We're going to get our collards education tonight. So I keep my collards big and chunky like that. And I'm like I said, I'm going along the backbone <laughs> of the collard leaf and coming on down that way. And then I come back across. Heck yeah, Just Lee said, what time are we going to eat, Mrs. AAP? <laughs> as soon as I can get all this done, darling. I'm Karma Ghost <laughs> says, what is up to Barbara Randa as well, too. we got a lot of awesome people already yeah. up in here. 18 so, awesome people, matters of fact. In my opinion, no pork dinner is complete without collard greens and cornbread and some banana pudding. So we'll get to that in a minute, too. I'm going to make some cornbread, um, a Johnny Cake like I did last time and the skillet inside the oven and then we're also getting these collard greens going collards they want to go i mean you could push them to 30 minutes i mean i would say more like 40 and they are getting ready to jump in that pot over there i'm gonna throw some more meat in that pot the main reason i put that um ham hock in is because it takes a little bit to break down to boil down and get that um smoky infusion in that water and I wanted to really kind of get a head start on that um, ham hock. <laughs> uh, Karma Ghost said to throw some onion in them greens. No, baby. I'm Gin gonna... Life, what's up, girl? Some people do onion in the greens. I do onion and turnip greens because my turnip greens are not as sweet as my collard greens. But my collard greens are going to be sweeter. Hope everybody's having a great evening. We got Blackbirds Burrowed Exotics up in here, too. Check them out. If you're blue and you want to drop a link, feel free to do so. I have to be honest, us Mexicans don't eat many collard greens. Well, I bet you, you need to try them like this. A lot of people don't cook them the way we do. My grandfather and my grandmother actually had the recipe originally. She passed away when I was 12. Then my grandfather took over the recipe. And, and I mean, those are very good. A lot of people that say they never liked collards actually loved my grandfather's collards. You may want to give them a try. Thank you, this, Blackbirds. This way. So this is not a heavy vinegar heavy salt, heavy onion type recipe for greens, y'all. These are the greens that um, Mr. AP grew up on and Mr. AP's grandfather taught me this recipe. That's okay, Jen Life. You know what they do is they think that there's one way they can put a hurting on me is by going into my friends' channels and leaving stupid comments and content. It's just a bunch of jealous haters. And like I said, if you're successful, you're going to have people that don't like you. But if they keep coming back and watching your content and they're smashing that thumbs down, they're still smashing the thumbs, right? They're still giving you the watch time, right? So, bam, even your haters are actually doing you a favor without even knowing it. We got Hobo Scum up in here. What's hey, up, Hobo Scum? Scum? I'm not going to use any more than collard greens tonight. I got a good pot here. I did three bundles and a bag right here. They're going to go in as soon as I get some more meat in that pot of there. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to my salted um, fat bag. Now, I don't know if any of y'all have ever had fried fat bag. This is literally cured fat bag, y'all. Y'all see that? So I'm going to cut me a good piece over here. This is a salted cured fat bag. Isn't that right, Teresa Lagara? Yep, Teresa Lagarde is a great longtime friend as well, too. Make sure y'all check her out. Got a great channel, great family. 
She's exposing some of this, you know, violence. Y'all check her out. She's got a video. She Whoa. just lost a niece. Uh, prayers are with her. And we hope that everything gets better for everybody right now in this world. Greg Manley, my boy from the land down under. Make sure y'all check him out. Greg Manley's got a great channel too. Barbara Renna says, yeah, I bet the collards are loaded with fiber. <laughs> they are. They're good for you, darling. What is up, Kayla Fan number one, one of our winners hey, from today. How are you doing? Hey, darling, I need to get you your tracking number because that package didn't went out to you. Yep, the package was already dropped. You should be getting a tracking number here in just a yep, little bit I'll after the show. I'll get it to you, darling. Um, so when it comes to collard greens, y'all, I do pork, 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 pork. You'll see me putting in fat back, salted pork. Um, if you could get your hands on some bacon, there's some bacon in there. Don't be scared to throw some um, actual meat and fat into that. Ooh, some tough pieces right there. Look at those pretty places of pork right there. Mm hmm. Blackbirds, burrowed exotics dropping a link. Y'all check that out. Right. Doing great, Hobo Scum. Good to see you, brother. Hope everything's yeah. going well, too. Um, so I think I, I saw where you put out some gaming content. If there's any gamers up in here, y'all check out Hobo Scum. He's got some gaming going on over there. Awesome friend as well, too. Brother of Most Hated Grower. Y'all make sure to check them out. They've got great channels. Gin Life's been putting out videos almost daily as well, too. And she's a great friend. If y'all haven't gotten over there to check out Gin Life yet, I highly recommend it. And I hope Mama JoJo's doing good tonight, Jen. Tell her we said hello. Hello, Luke. Come grab this kitten out of here, Walt. Good evening, Joni. How are you doing this evening? Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Hey, Joni. Barbara Randa's cracking up. You're not allowed in here while I'm cooking. Well, we got a cat. Yeah, he's sitting <laughs> in the kitchen. Rascal. Okay, so I'm putting this pork up to the fridge real quick. It's All right. Off. Happy Friday to everybody. Joni, I hope you and Scott are having a great day today. Oh, uh, you know what? I even got... Oh, look what I found today, y'all. I told you the other day. Bam! The ends and pieces. The rind on ends and pieces of bacon. Um, this is so, so cheap compared to actual stripped bacon. It's almost half price to get the ends and pieces. And it's thick. It's good stuff. Check that out. Oh, yeah. So... That's awesome, Joni. We're going to be using some of this in those collard greens, too. Sister Golden Hair says, what is up to Barbara Randa? Mm -hmm. I hope both of y'all are having a great night. Armed American Patriot, I'm sorry I missed your name up on your link. Oh, that's all right, my friend. <laughs> we had the 420 show earlier today. We had three giveaways. We yeah, had three awesome right. winners up in there. Kayla was one of them. I was going to make a pulled pork tomorrow, so I'm so glad I get to see how Mrs. AAP does it. Yeah, Bam. and now my pulled pork is done, y'all. It's been sitting in the crock pot going um since about 10 o'clock so it is good to go i'm gonna let all that meat come back up to a good hard bowl and while i do that i'm gonna add some uh salt and sugar to it greg manley how is life in australia today my friend that over here out the way Greg okay. Manley's a great friend. He's been almost in every single one of my shows. He's always been a great moderator, too, and greatly appreciate you, man. I'm start, I always do half and half. When I say half and half, I mean if I'm starting with a half a cup of sugar, then I half it and do a quarter cup of salt. That's what I'm starting with on this is a quarter and a half. Always more sugar than salt. Um, I know it's going to need more. I know it's going to need more, but that's where my starting point and I'm gonna let it go for a little bit, come together, and then we're gonna come back and taste the juice. Taste it, taste it, taste it. I used to tell the boys in the restaurant all the time, don't y'all plate nothing until you sit a spoon in there and taste what you're sending out of this kitchen. Um, I wanna know everything that you're sending out and you don't wanna send out nothing that you wouldn't eat at home. Um, so I know, again, y'all, it's not gonna be enough salt and sugar, but it's a starting point is what it is. So, Mr. AP, if you get over here, I've got three types of pork in here, y'all. I have a salted pork, I have a bacon, and I have fat back, and a smoke. I have four, four kinds, and I got this big old smoked um, ham hock in here. Um, I love all the different flavor profiles you can do with greens, and I'm always heavy on the meat with greens and turnips. I want to taste that meat in them. So while that gets going, I'm not even going to put the greens in there yet, y'all. I'm going to let that kind of come together for a minute before we add any greens to it. This is a shortcut baked beans. Now, I'll be honest with you. 
You could do a homemade baked bean out of homemade beans out. William Pops Newell, like, share, and show you, you care. Bam! What is up, Pops? A homemade baked bean out of navy beans is what baked beans are. They're ba you can sub in pinto beans. Usually pinto beans go with a, a Mexican flavor better. Navy beans are what your baked beans are. Now, I could have sat them on last night and brought them to a bowl and done all that. But honestly, y'all, shortcut tonight. Mmm, catfish. Yummy. Some bushes. So Pops did a new video as well too. I went ahead and posted it on my community post. It was a shout out to Mrs. AAP. Oh, yeah. Greatly appreciate that, my friend. Oh, my you got gosh. some great content. You're yes. a great video editor. And also tonight at 7 p.m., Pops will be going live to give you a shout out and to help you grow your channel as well right there. Um, Highly uh, recommend y'all trying to catch him. I've already cut some meat on this board, so I'm coming back over to it and I'm going to cut a little bit more meat on it. For the baked beans, I get them a little bit smaller. Set that right there for a minute. Um, I'm going to do this bacon a little bit smaller for the baked beans. And then I'm going to wash the board. And um, actually, I have a second board. I'll just grab that other board as well, do For the vegetables, I'll do a whole green pepper. And I don't know, this is a good bit of bacon here. I don't know how to describe how much bacon this is. <laughs> and then I will do a whole onion and a whole pepper with this bacon to get those uh, baked beans started. Barbara Randa had a grilled chicken breast. I hope you enjoyed it. I bet it was good too. I love grilled chicken. Gin life up in here with this cool Mario emojis. Heck yeah, always good to see you. Just Lee, thank you very much. Bombed you up with, uh, looks like 77 cent. Bam, <laughs> appreciate that. Lee. I appreciate that for real. <laughs> Every penny helps out. Yeah. I tell you, Just Lee is also making copyright free beats. Y'all get over there and check that out. And if y'all want to drop some links to make it easy for folks to get to your channels, that's always welcome here as well, too. I'm putting this bacon on high. I got my big, giant restaurant pot over here on high, y'all. And it's going, and it's boiling, it's looking good. I got that meat coming together. And now that we're back to a pretty good bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add my greens to it. I already added some salt and sugar, but I know I'm going to need more. Um, so these are the greens that I just ripped and cut up. You can see I like them, you know, bigger and chunkier. Collard greens are so pretty when they hit water, too. They're Highly so recommend fried. Just Lee's channel as well, especially if you're looking for those beets. Aussie John, what's up, my friend? How you, you doing today, see, Aussie John? See the difference in the store-bought greens, y'all? They leave the ribs in, and they're cut really small, and they're not even as pretty as the ones that you can cut yourself. I say store-bought. I mean, they're all from the store, but the ones that you can get in the pack and cut and trim yourself is worth that little bit of extra time. I mean, I'm oh, not yeah. gonna lie. It takes a little while to prep some collard greens, but if you do it, it's worth it in the long run. Okay. Jen Life we says, "What is up to Barbara Randa?" Whole pot of collard greens. We'll let that come back up to a bowl for a minute. <laughs> this would be looking good to you, Dank. Sister <laughs> Golden Hair says, "Suggestions for quality chef knife." Oh yes, any suggestion, darling. Um, so I am actually running. Um, I've got the some. The Members Mark makes a great knife. That's a Sam's Club knife, you guys. Members Mark is Sam's Club. And I love that Sam's Club kind of caters to the restaurant industry with its packaging. And um, it's, you know, I've had a lot of evenings and weird times that I was closer to Sam's than anywhere else and needed something for the restaurant. And I wouldn't have a food truck, you know, for a day or two. And I would uh, go to Sam's and get my fix and, and get everything fixed up for the restaurant. But um, I like the cutlery section at Sam's Club. Um, I actually got my dish strainer over there from Sam's Club. And I'm loving that. And these knives, I mean, they're holding up really well. You can see I've got... One, two, I've got three, four of them. Just Lee, we um, greatly appreciate you, my friend. Thank you very much for stopping in tonight. I know it's late where you're at. Big one over there, the big giant white one, is from a restaurant supply store, but I don't remember. It must have been Berlin, maybe. Somewhere in South Carolina. What yeah. is up, the NDT show? What is up, my friend? How you doing tonight? But you can go to a restaurant supply store and get some really good, upscale, quality pieces. But if they're not going to be really budget friendly, I can tell you that. Sam has the big stuff on the budget. <laughs> Rattletrap Fishing, what's up, bro? Hey, Rattletrap. How y'all doing this evening? 
y'all. Um, I grabbed a fresh cutting board. The other one already had all that meat on it, so I sat it to the side with the knife. You don't want to cross contaminate anything, even if this is uh, not ready to eat items. I still keep separate knives and stuff for the meat and veggies. What is up? God bless America. How you Yay. doing tonight, brother? She made some pulled pork, my friend. Yes, I did. Hope you're having a great evening, too, my friend. Thanks for stopping in. God bless America. Everybody check him out. He's got a great channel. Okay, so I'm just basing up this pepper and onion, y'all. I might not even use all of this pepper. I'm going to look at it once I get over here. It was a whole green pepper, but it was a bigger one. And Miss AP got my bacon stirring over here for me. And I'm going to slip in with some onion. That was a pretty big onion, too. I'm only going to use half that onion... And have that pepper. <laughs> Johnny said, when's dinner? We're about an hour and a half away. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, you'll be here on time, baby. I'll save you a plate. <laughs> Hope you and Scott are having a good evening, too. Yeah, like I said, um, tell Scott we said what's up. So half a pepper, half an onion, and I'm going to um, let that go for a minute with the bacon, with the onions and peppers. I'm going to turn it down just a tad. It's on high. I'm going to turn it to about seven. Seven, eight, seven to eighteen. And I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to kind of just rotate these greens. Look how pretty those greens look when they start to wilt in that water. Look at that color. Can you see them? Yep, that's crazy. Uh, William, the package, the pigeon is in flight, my friend. I texted him, but he might not have that number anymore. I don't know. I think Mr. Newell got a new phone number. He must have, because he ain't texting me back. All you got to do is email us anytime, William, if you need to get my number for anything, and we'll be glad to give you mine and Mrs. AAP's number. Uh-oh. What? My phone battery is actually not looking too high. It said it's going dead. Let me see what I got right now. I got 15% of battery right now. Really? Okay. So we'll keep an eye on it for a few minutes. Um, a little load. How about run and grab my charger real quick, please? Take care. Be safe, Blackbird. Blackbird, if you're taking out, have a good evening, my friend, and appreciate you stopping by tonight. Make sure if y'all haven't subscribed to the channel, if y'all could do so, we'd greatly appreciate it. Smash the like button. Thank you for that. How's your grease looking out there, Miss Eddie? It's looking all right. I could probably use just a tiny little. I mean, I think I'm all right, honestly. Well, usually I have to add a little it's cooking water. out the meat. We're good to go. I'll get a little bit. I can smell it from here. Oh, wait, that's unicorn poop. <laughs> God bless America. That's my boy right there. He's one of my patriotic friends. I've been friends with him a good long while. He's always doing something funny, but he's making some awesome flags by hand as well, too. Highly recommend y'all checking out his channel. He's got all kinds of designs. He's building them for folks for Christmas and different things as well, too. If anybody's interested, check sit. him out. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let it well, now that the temperature has actually yeah. gone down, yeah. it can rest for a minute. Y'all, I started with an eighth of a cup of salt. I'm going to hit it with another eighth of a cup. This is a big pot, okay? big pot of collards. That's salt. And I'm going to go in with another half cup. So we're now up to a quarter cup of salt and a whole cup of sugar in here. And that's probably not going to be the end of it. That's where we're at. Like I said, too, the uh, the ham hock and the salt and the sugar are your number one ingredients in your collar. She likes to put a little bit of that fat back and other stuff in there as well, too. Yeah. My grandmother, she just used the uh, hog jaw, I mean, not the hog jaw, the ham hock ham itself hog. and the salt and the sugar to a flavor that she liked, and it yeah. was very, very good that way. I like getting a little piece of the meat and not I used to love watching my grandmother cook when I was little. My mother actually took off when I was 15 months old. I didn't ever get a chance to know her. Still don't know her, so, you know, oh well with that. But, you know, my grandmother did a great job. It's unfortunate I lost her when I was 12 years old, but I watched her cook for many a years, and I learned how to cook very good. But Mrs. AAP is a great cook as well, too. So with yeah. both of our generations combined, we make some pretty darn good food most of the time. Mr. AAP's grandpa actually taught me how to make these collars before he passed away. He was a trip. I love cooking in the kitchen with your grandpa. So how long is the pork got to go before we can open that up and look at it? Oh, we can look at it in just a minute, but I need to get some more stuff. I need to wash another pan. I'm getting this cornbread on right now. I'm working on your dime to see that pork, aren't you? I want to see it, yeah. <laughs> 
one thing about pork, I love it, and I know a lot of people probably have the same problem, but for some reason, pork gives me reflux, so I don't eat it very often. All right, y'all. You can have my mother, Luke, LOL, she's mean to me. <laughs> she's mean to you, Barbara Randa. <laughs> So we got the vent fan actually going all the way through the roof and out. A lot of people had to like the side view vent on these things and I didn't want it blowing all over the cabinets and back in the kitchen. So I've got it going up and out. So I was yeah. glad it worked out like that. Plus I had a, a junction box right up there above that spout where I could actually wire everything in. That made it this perfect place for that. So we're coming in with two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk. And that is the two eggs. We're gonna whisk that and we're gonna add our corn muffin mix. I'm gonna turn the heat down on this just a little bit more. Going to about five on it, four, five and a half or so. This is seasoning right here for the baked beans. Now, do you plan on adding any ketchup and mustard to these beans? Yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff. I got some molasses and some uh, brown sugar. I don't know if everybody's ever tried that or not, but one thing we do to our baked beans, and it's a southern thing as well, is we put ketchup and mustard and syrup in the beans. I got some molasses to throw in there. But you can use maple syrup. Get another spoon over here. And I'm actually saving. Collard's already cooking down pretty good. Oh yeah. I'm just getting a little bit of some sugar in there. It's getting a little bit of some shavings and some butter. Now don't be scared skillet. to get in the pot with them now. <laughs> <laughs> See my cast iron skillet, y'all. I just put some butter in it and it's going to go in here to preheat. The oven is already preheated. So I'm just putting that pan in there for a minute for heat. Well, it's on 400, but the convection oven always drops 25 degrees automatically. Snafu Snaps, what's up, brother? Hello. How you doing, my boy? Good to see you. Hope you've been doing good. Snafu Snaps has two great channels, my friend. I believe one has been messed with by YouTube right now for no reason at all, but he's got Snafu Snaps too as well. If you want to drop that link up in here, bro. Snafu Snaps is a great friend, and we greatly appreciate seeing you here tonight, my friend. Guys come over here my secret ingredient quarter cup of sugar to every two boxes of jiffy mix quarter cup of sugar to every two boxes of jiffy mix yeah with two thirds cup of milk and two eggs just like it states on the recipe stuff's cooking pretty good i don't want to overcook the vegetables or they're going to disappear all the way but mrs aap likes to get her onions nice and dark Beans and weenies are real good too. You could chop up some hot dogs, do this thing the same way. If you didn't have all the other meat, that would be fine, but you throw them onions, the bell pepper in there, the hot dogs, the beans, and then you can add some ketchup, mustard, and syrup to it if you like them that way. It makes them really good. Mr. Aping? Yes, ma'am. You also, I mixed the milk and eggs first. That's because corn muffin mix like this, Johnny bread, Johnny cake, however you want to call it, skillet cornbread. It's supposed to be chunky. So a couple little twists of the wrist, y'all, and that's all you want right there. And I'm going to set that over to the side let it rest for a minute. It's important to let cornbread rest for your bacon. Okay, I'm going to get me out some sugar. So if y'all missed that 420 giveaway today, don't worry. We're going to be back. What is up, Brandon? How you doing tonight, hey, my Brandon. friend? My heart, your heart. My good brother Brandon right there. Hope you're having a good evening today, my friend. We share the same birthday. We're both March 17th birthdays, my friend. So good to see you tonight, my friend. Hope everything's going well with you as well, too. Lucky 7 Mud Mower says, looks good. I'm on the way. Bam. What is up? Lucky 7. How y'all doing tonight, my friend? Good to see you. I got to catch you again um, on your lives. Lucky 7 goes live from his garage. Y'all should check him out. He's got a great channel as well. And he can help you grow your channel with some awesome people as well, too. He's also seen a lot over there with... Tampa Boys Customs, another great channel. Make sure y'all check both of them out. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for stopping in. Now, y'all need to be uh, what you call light-handed on the molasses. I got some brown sugar, light and dark. I've got some molasses over here. You can use um, syrup, maple <laughs> syrup. 
anything like that. Um, Mr. AP? Jen's at the door knocking, back. Oh, Jen. <laughs> so y'all need to make sure these peppers and onions, I'm going to cook them a little bit more than that. Because basically, when you add them beans, this thing is baked done. I'll do a little bit of salt and pepper, the sugars, the molasses. Um, you do syrup instead of molasses, like I said. And then they're pretty much done. A little uh, dab of ketchup and mustard in them. I usually add that in. That's awesome. Lucky seven. And my skillet is preheating right now. My skillet is preheating. Lucky seven's going live tonight. My meat is resting. I know y'all are wondering about the meat. You want to sneak a peek at it? Yeah, let's take a look at that. Okay. Yeah, boy, that thing is looking dang good, ain't it? Now, she does the bone and pork, so... I do whatever's on sale. I've done plenty of bone bliss ones. We like the bone in, though. It adds a lot of it flavor. Does. I'm going to pull that. I'm going to be picking that little baby apart in just a minute, y'all. Joe, awesome one. What's up, brother? How you doing tonight, I Joe? That, um, I got that cornbread set for it can go in. We're still browning over here. We're still bowling over here. And that's going to bring us right over here to where everybody probably wants to be tonight. And it's going to be... Michigan says 3,700 new cases of coronavirus overnight. Whether or not that's real or not, if it is, that's pretty scary. We're going to come over to the Hopefully that ain't the case, but you never know. I'm going to bump that all the way down the low and just let that go for a minute. All right, so what are we doing right now? Over here, over here, we're making banana pudding. Mad man, what's up, brother? So we're going to go with 16 cups of milk. Right, Lucky 7. Because when I do banana pudding, I do banana pudding now. Okay, so we got a, a quarter sheet pan, half a sheet pan over there. Fear mongers, bam, albatross free. <laughs> what is up and how are you doing? Hey darling, good to see you. We're making banana pudding with our collard greens and our pork and our baked beans and our cornbread. Albatross, I don't, I'm not sure if you've seen the cooking shows yet, but Mrs. AAP's been doing her little cooking show and we're still running the little 420 show every now and then. We had one today. We had some awesome winners. We had Kayla win today. We had William Pops Newell win today. And we had a newer person to the channel win today as well, too. So that was pretty cool. Okay. Here we go over here. Got some collards going right here. It's important that your milk for your pudding is cold, y'all. That's why they're pulling milk out. I'm using real milk over here for the pudding. Madman Serpents has an awesome channel too. He goes live. He's got a great channel. His wife is Mrs. K and A Reptiles. Both of them are great people. Good place to go and build your channels up. There's so many people in here that can actually help you build your channels. That's a good thing. That's why I always recommend just grabbing everybody up because everywhere I go, they've got great friends and you can always build your channel. You can never build it too much. Madman has some awesome ser uh, serpents as well, and he also has a book that he has written. If you want to do something, you can come over here and start stirring this while I'm dumping. What are you dumping on? <laughs> <I'm really>. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Manley, King of Brews and Awesome Views. Bang! Heck yeah! From Down Under, how's you doing, brother? Blackbird says, I know from just in my animal house. Heck yeah! My Animal House and Iron Dog Reptiles, they've got the awesome show. I'm a moderator over there. Great time over there as well, too, and a lot of awesome people as well. Okay, y'all. So, this is banana pudding. And I like my pudding two pound milky. <laughs> to be milky. Oh, I like my pudding to be milky? Yep. I guess. <laughs> um, I use, for every two large vanillas, I use a small. Yes, you can, Joe. I use a small um, banana. Surely you can. If you're blue up in here, Go ahead and drop the links to your channel if you'd like to get your link in here so people can grab up your channels, my friends. I don't have any problem with that at all. That's what my channel's always been about, is helping everybody grow. So anytime you're here, you're welcome to drop your link. You're going to crack up. What's up, Mama? You don't got no bananas? I forgot to buy bananas. Ah. So we're having banana pudding minus the bananas. Oh, my Which God. is fine with me because, honestly, I mean, y'all know what you can do is just chop up the bananas, but... The pudding with the vanilla wafers is good enough for me anyway. Well, anyway, I do, um, I get the banana cream jello pudding and I get the regular vanilla. For every two vanillas, I do one banana cream. Unless you want to send Luke right there to the store. That's one reason why I actually moved to this house because we got the Chinese restaurant, the gas station, the dairy store. We got a family dollar, a Rite Aid, and a grocery store right there within two minutes of walking. So. Is your arm giving out? Not yet, You're but. Going slow. I'm going slow? Yeah, you're slow. Good night. 
And my wrist is <laughs> <all around. laughs> Joe Awesome says, thanks, brother, but we'll wait to be asked. Hey, Joe, you drop the link whenever you feel like it, my friend. Where are the boys? The oh boys God. are back here hiding. Probably got the place destroyed somewhere. My oldest one's a spud over there. <laughs> what you watching, some basketball, boy? We got my landing right here, chilling. Hey, one of y'all get that trash out for me, buddy. Where's your other brothers at? What's up on in here? Y'all, let's get this mess cleaned up. Where's Levi at? Don't kill me, Jesus, Landon. Don't kill me. What'd you say? Oh, he's in here? Oh, he's changing them? I'll let y'all see Levi in just a minute. I'm going to switch back to my little waist now. Little Luke, yes. probably get you to run in the store and grab a thing of bananas real quick. Yeah, go grab a bunch of bananas, David Dahl. Let's see where my phone is right now. My phone is on 9% battery. You, Liberty Smith just left Liberty a message. Liberty Smith, what's up? I don't see him in chat. He just left a comment on another thing. Oh. All that time he said. Bring Levi in here when you get him dressed, Landon. Let Levi say hi to everybody. Don't forget Pops is going live tonight at 7 p.m. Yeah. Awesome shout out channel. Snafu Snap, uh, Snafu Snap says improvise LMO. <laughs> Grab something through in a LMO. Get some bean and beans pudding. Joking. <laughs> Snafu Snaps, you must be fried tonight, bro. <laughs> yeah. Snafu Snaps has a great channel, man. I love catching him. I just haven't been getting hardly any notifications, and I don't know if anybody really is because I see a lot of people complaining. I mix one tub of Cool Whip in with this. Woo, that's going to be so good. Until it's smooth. Greg Manley's running that link for Joe. Awesome one. Jen Life said, I will be there with Luke watching TV, waiting on the food, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bub. Albatross free said for my little Spider-Man. Bam! Just hit you up with ten bucks, Mrs. Oh A.A.P. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Albatross. What you doing, Levi? Say hello. What's up, bud? Say hello. Yeah. Heck yeah, Albatross free. This is Levi. You want to say He's gonna get some banana pudding. Let's see what happens. What kind of reaction are you gonna have? Oh oh oh! It always looks like trying new things. <laughs> This is my other son, Landon, right here. Landon's holding Levi. Landon's a great helper with Levi. Levi loves Landon to death. Greatly appreciate my boys now. Yep. Good helpers. Albatross Free said for my little Levi. Bam! Just bombed oh you God. up with another 20 bucks for <laughs> Levi. Albatross, you are a darling. Well, we Thank greatly you. appreciate that, Albatross. Thank you so yeah. much for what you do. And y'all hit up her channel. She's a good friend. Yeah, Albatross has been a great friend ever since day one. Okay. Um, Mr. Jen Life too. Jen's got a great channel. Um, yes. Jen Mukbang awesome. challenges. I'm gonna taste that water in a minute. You Thank you very much, food? Teresa. Red Ruby Sky, what up? I was over there at Red Ruby Sky right before the show, my friends. Had an awesome sky view. Let me get you modded up there. Red Ruby Sky, if you would like to get your channel on, go ahead and drop your link. And anybody that's in here that's got some new content, drop those links. If you want to just share your channel with the chat, drop the links. Don't have to ask if you're blue. You already have permission. Hey, Lawton, come here and get this trash out for me, darling. It's overflowing. You're welcome, Red Ruby. Hope you're having a happy Friday, and I hope everybody else up in here is as well, too. So this is looking really good right here. I could just spoon that right up and eat it like that, but this is just for the beans anyway. But yeah, we're looking really good on that. Got the brown sugar over here, the molasses, the beans. What we got going on, Mama? Right now I'm opening up some beans. Oh, well, I guess I can do the first layer real quick. So I use a great big, um, I guess, is this a half sheet pan? I guess it's a half sheet pan. This is the way we used to make it in the restaurant and we would go through I would say at least four of these a day, sometimes more. Bing um, is. Selling the banana pudding. To so. assist your family, I watch all your ads fully. <laughs> Hope that helps. Cheers. Bam. Bing is. You know it, my friend. Bingus. Digit Mark, what's up? How you doing tonight? Digit Mark, metal detecting. How's everything going, bro? So the first layer at the bottom is going to be cookies, y'all. A box of the vanilla wafers. 
Now, this is no normal size pan. We have to make this stuff for a small army. This is actually one of the pans that we used to use in the restaurants. That's what I said. I would go through about four of these pans a day at the restaurant, selling out fried chicken and fried fish. And I just get a good layer down of the pudding. I love the metal detecting community as well, too, because I'm a metal detectorist myself, too. I love dirt fishing. I highly recommend y'all checking out those channels. And if you got time to get yourself a metal detector, if you ain't got nothing else to do, it's a great hobby. Yep, absolutely. So I just come over with a healthy serving of that pudding, y'all. Remember that I mixed in that Cool Whip to get that creaminess to it all the way across the top. And then I'm actually going to come back over with the whole thing of Cool Whip as well. And get your layers going. You like the layer, eh? I layer it, baby. So um, I'll do one and a half of these. And then the bananas go over top, and then you go with your second layer. You taking that out, Bubba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I asked you to. There's Lawton. Hey, <laughs> everybody. Fine. Big boy right there. I tell you what, that boy right there, Lawton. pure say, muscle. Say hey to Albatross for me. Say Hi. what's up to Albatross Free. <laughs> Angela Betts, good evening. How you doing? Hey, All good here, bro. How you doing? We're doing great. Digit Mart, thank you very much for stopping by tonight as well, too. We appreciate y'all, and we appreciate the thumbs up. We appreciate the super chats as well, too. Greatly appreciated. Angela Betts, what's up? What's going on? This is not a science, I promise. It's just my cool-up syllable frozen in the middle, so I'm working from the edges. This don't have to be all that pretty for these layers. You're just getting a layer down. And next is the bananas. Well, we went to the store to get the bananas. Vegan, what's up, bro? How you doing, Vegan Realist? Hey, Vegan. Vegan Realist is another great friend. Got a channel for many different topics. Y'all check him out. Feel free to speak your mind over there. Vegan doesn't care. Great friend. He's don't take no sides. I tell you what, Vegan's got an awesome channel, and I appreciate you coming in, man. Oh, collard smells so good, Mr. AP. Okay, I'm going to pop open these pans. Happy Lux. Long time no see, Happy. Happy What's Lux, up, bro? Our German friend. Heck yeah. What is up, Happy Lux? How are you doing? Another great place to grow and grow your channel right there, Happy Lux. Okay, y'all, so this is what you call the cheater, the cheetah beans. And I told you, all I had to do last night was uh, grab me a thing of... Um, Navy You're taking beans. a break from YouTube, bro. I had to grab some navy beans and soak them and boil them, and then those would be your baked beans. But I uh, went ahead and splurged and just got some cans. We had stocked up on some cans of some beans, and they need to be eaten. And the, you know, the dry beans keep longer. I took a long break too, Happy Luck. So we all need a break sometimes, no matter what we're doing. Um, I did mix it up though. I got two original. And one home style over here for the beans. There's a purple label, a maple brown sugar one. That's really good, but I've got molasses to add to it. Um, and some salt, pepper, light brown sugar, dark brown sugar. All right. That's and awesome. When Happy Lux goes live, he's got a really cool stream. Y'all check him out. It's a fun time over there. Awesome shout outs. I always have a good time. And I grow my channel pretty rapidly over there with Happy Lux as well, too. Another great place to go. So I'm going to bump that back up, Mr. AP. Get your bowling over here again. I've got to plug this in on the charger for a minute. I'm going to be kind of limited. Sorry about the flip-flop, folks. Give me one second. All right, there we go. I had to get my charger plugged in for just a couple of minutes. Joe Walson once says, what is up to Jamie? we got Ghost Pirate rocking with us right now as well, too. Good to see you. Ghost Pirate's an awesome friend. Got a lot of great content as well. Some trivia questions and different things out there. Check him out. So I'll wait till you can come over here and get a view of the pan before I add anything. Well, I'm going to have to zoom in because I'm plugged in. Let me see. That's what I can wait a minute. All right, I'm zoomed in. I can see the pan. See it? Okay. All I do with molasses, y'all, is drizzle it because it's very strong. I don't know if you see that. I'm no. drizzling it Shoot. Hang on. Let me unplug this dang thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. Um, I'm very cautious with molasses because it could be super overpowering okay so i would say that's like a half of a teaspoon that's gone into this whole pan here and i'm gonna be super super easy with that collards are looking freaking delicious we can turn those down they're pretty much already cooked no, all right mrs aap said no so i ain't gonna touch them no let them boil baby 
Let them get Salad going. man, what's up, bro? That's going to keep breaking down that meat, that fat back, that smoked pork that's in there is going to keep breaking down as it boils hard. Um, so I put the molasses in here, y'all. I'm going to do the same with the brown sugars. Man, those things are good. They need a little bit of sugar, though. No, I'm going to, I haven't done seasoning those yet. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's AP. Some light brown sugar, some dark brown sugar. Across the top, sprinkling again, cautiously sprinkling. Take care, Happy Lux. Yeah, Happy Lux. I like dark brown sugar, y'all, so I'm putting a little bit more dark brown in there. And then I'm going to grab the salt and pepper shakers. And come back, dust some salt across the top, dust some pepper across the top. Mom, need to wake up. She's cooking fried catfish, mac and cheese with lima beans. Oh my goodness, oh, Jen! Woo! Last night too. Second person today I heard was cooking that fried catfish. Yeah, I, I was looking at some catfish today too. What are we looking at here, Mama? I'm um looking for some ketchup. 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 Right there in front of you there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I figured it was, and then I'll come back for some. Uh, Y'all are making vegetable beef soup ever. I'll tell you a secret ingredient to that real quick. I know it's way off topic, but anyway, <laughs> get yourself some original V8 and uh, cook it in that. I mean, it is so good. Now, y'all can use um, ground mustard, too. We got Sound Man up in here. I highly recommend everybody grabbing up his channel. He's got a smaller channel right now, but he's going to grow rapidly. He's got some awesome beats out there, some awesome content so far. Highly recommend y'all checking him out. He's given me some beats to use, and it's freaking awesome. Y'all can check out Mrs. AAP seasoning video. Yeah, and you, I'm sorry about that. I had everything all whacked it up here. But anyway, um, thanks for that, my friend. We greatly appreciate it. Andy is a top-tier member. Another good uh, appreciation to you, my friend. Thank you very much for that, Sal, man. Yes, thank you, Sal, man. And you also have a pigeon in the air, my friend. Peagle. Peagles are flying high. Heck yeah, we got Kayla fan number one saying, take care, be safe, madman. Madman, you have a great night, my yes, friend. happy Friday, y'all. Whew, I'm getting thirsty as hell. We got something to drink up in here, mama? Some sweet tea in the kitchen in there. I'm stuck on the charger for a oh, minute. I'm sorry, baby. Phone's about to die. Oh my gosh, look, those baked beans are so good. So you already tried them? Yeah. You sneaky dog. I have to try them to cook them. <laughs> can't just go and not... Try. So my um, my skillet is in there heating up for that uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. It takes 25 minutes to bake, so I need to go ahead and pull that out and dump that in there. Oh, that is awesome! Ghost Pirate said he's been buying up storage units. So if you having any oh good goodness. luck with those, I used to love storage wars on TV. Right behind. I haven't had any regular TV, though, in probably about seven or eight years. I know I could get Hulu or other things and, and watch it, but I just usually end up watching all the old school stuff. You know what I've been stuck on is Unsolved Mysteries. There's so many seasons of that from back in the day. They're still pretty daggum interesting, and they still do have updates to this day, which is pretty cool. So that is cool. I saw that. recommend y'all checking that out. Okay. Y'all need to obviously taste your food while you're going. I added a little bit more salt Mr. AP, tell me where we're at. Cheers, everybody. And don't sad bark your lips. Too much salt. Need a little bit of syrup now. Sugar. She likes to use the brown sugar now with me. I just put the syrup in there, Mrs. Buttersworth. Mrs. Buttersworth? Yeah, it gotta be Mrs. Buttersworth or it ain't real syrup. No. I say that, but we got a good friend, Calvin, also known as Sunrise Services. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. He makes an awesome maple syrup from scratch. He's got some video content on it as well, too. This is his label right here. We kept the jar. Sunrise Sugar Shot. Y'all can find Sunrise a lot of times over there at William Newell's channel. Also on DLT Lawn Care's channel as well, too. The Dr. Real Grow Show. Yep. And Sunrise is a great friend, especially if you want some Christmas gifts like the homemade jams or syrups. And he's actually got an even better menu behind the scenes. He's got some apple pie moonshine and things like that. Highly recommend y'all checking him out. Calvin is an amazing friend as well. Storage Wars is the clean version. It's dirty at times. I bet so. And I bet you got to kind of watch out for picking up on pests in there and stuff too. And maybe bed bugs, so I'd be careful. Molasses and brown sugar, yummy. Bam, yes. sound man. We got QT up in here. What is up, QT? How you doing today, bro? Smashing the like button. Love the fam. Bang, love to the fam. Thank you, my friend. QT, what's going on, man? How you doing today? 
Hope you're having a great day today. This is our second live stream today. We had a 420 giveaway earlier today. We had three awesome winners. Kayla fan number one's up in here. She was the first winner of the day. Yeah, that's a lot better now. Mm -hmm. A little more relaxes or is it good? That's good right there. Leave it? Yeah, because you got the salt, you got the sweet. I can taste the meat and the onions. It's good. That's what I'm, I'm having to stand back away just for a couple of minutes and try to get my phone to charge up a little bit. I'm sitting on 8%. It goes pretty quick once it gets that low. Kayla's giving big hugs right now. Heck yeah. Bam. Y'all, we are at a cup of sugar and we're going in for another half. So we are at one and a half cups of sugar so far. I say so far, we ain't done with these college yet. I'm chilling, bro. Caught me a nap and ready to party. Bang, <laughs> cutie. That sounds good, my friend. It's always so wild in this house. Last night, I couldn't sleep for nothing, but the night before, I couldn't hardly get up for nothing, so I don't understand that, but... And we're getting ready. Um, when Lil Luke gets back, I'll chop up the bananas. We'll put a layer of bananas every year, and then another layer of pudding and cool whip. And um, I save a little bit of vanilla wafers for the sprinkle on top. I'm going to chop up a few of these really quick, smash them, and then we can start pulling our pork and baking. That's awesome. I need to get that cornbread in really quick, too. Let's see here. Easiest way to do this. I'm not getting your way. Blackbirds is newer to the channel. Y'all check them out. Drop the links. Make it easy for everybody. Be right back. Heck yeah, we'll leave you playing. Yeah, I appreciate that. Kayla fan number one. Y'all check her out. She's newer to the channel as well, but came in today and won the first giveaway. We had three giveaways today. We actually had two, but William knew well, and one other person hit that jackpot at the same time. So we honored both of them. And everything's flying high now. We so got the peagles on the way. At the restaurant, I would uh, keep these in the bag and smush the bag up. But I'm not doing as many cookies for this. We'll have two full boxes of cookies in it. I'm to get some crumbles in there. You right. got them nanners, boy. Thank you, got them. So Basketball we'll star right there. <laughs> he was an all-star basketball player before all this stuff started going on. Yeah, he was on. Kind of put a hurt on a lot of these older boys that had sports he careers and different things going on. Freshman drafted to varsity for the team. Luca! Okay, let's get um. William always wins. I know he's lucky, ain't he, QT? He does always win. That's why everybody said that it was rigged because Mr. Newell always won my giveaways. <laughs> that was a trip. Um, Mr. AP, I need to get right behind you. Change up the way I'm holding the phone. I think it's kind of tiring in your hand like that. I'm washing this to be able to put my cast iron skillet on it long enough to pour the cornbread in and stick it back in. Um, plus, I want to go ahead and start pulling apart that meat so they get the cornbread in. <laughs> Actually, I better chop some bananas. QT said I could dunk on him on an eight foot rim. <laughs> I think I could dunk that too on an eight foot rim. <laughs> I um, chop those bananas first really quick before I put any meat on this. As soon as I get a little bit of a battery on here, I'm going to unplug. You're stuck everything? You might want to start in beans real quick. I am. I'm going to grab me a... I'm going to unplug for a minute. What you do? Sorry about that. What you do? I accidentally hit the power down button. Yeah, keep stirring them things a little bit just so you don't get no stickage on them. Yeah, they're beautiful. You can actually turn that temperature down now. Yeah, turn down the low. Yep. And then I'm going to open this, y'all. I'm going to grab my cast iron skillet. This is my butter. Oh, goodness. I'm not sure if Albatross Free is still in here or not, but if so, this is the kitchen that I just modeled. We were selling the house. One reason was because, you know, uh, Becca didn't like the kitchen. So now I she's loving it. Kitchen. What's up, Hillbilly Sacco? I love Hillbilly. All right, Tiger Muskeen, and what's going on, my friend? How you doing? Bam! Hell here. yeah. We are getting this cornbread into our preheated skillet right now. It's that butter coming up on the edges already getting us the crust going. And we're going to put that in right now. It's at 400 on a standard oven, 375 convection for 25 minutes. 
Mr. Fulton Mraz, what is up? What is up? I was wondering if I could interview, wondering if I could interview you as my special guest tomorrow night at 12 p.m. Tomorrow night at 12. You mean 12? Uh, oh, 12 in the afternoon. It may, my friend. Uh, Mr. Fulton, hit me up on the email. The best thing to do is let I'll give you my number and you can text me, find out what I'm doing. My grilled walleye video is up. Hang on a minute, Tiger. Bam! Heck yeah, now you can drop the link. Drop the link to that. He's got a grilled walleye video up. Oh, I love walleye, too. Great channel, great cook. Y'all check them out. Collards are looking freaking delicious. I know a lot of people don't like collards, but it just depends. If you have them cooked right, I'm telling you. When my grandfather used to make these like this, people would say, I never did like collards before, and I love yours. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Fulton, hit me up on the email, my friend. AAPGrowNetwork at gmail.com. AAPGrowNetwork at gmail.com. We're going to turn that on high. That cast iron is burning off in the oven is what you're smelling. I can smell that a little bit. Got 14 friends up in here with us right now. Greatly appreciate that. You got yourself 39 thumbs up, Mrs. AAP. Greatly appreciate that, everybody. Yeah. One whole bunch of bananas. One whole bunch of bananas. Little onion and ham in the greens. Bang. We got a uh, ham hock up in here and we got some fat back. She's got like three or four different types of ham up in this thing. Yeah, I got some uh, smoked ham hock. I did some fat back. I did some salted pork and then I did some like your typical. Um, Thanks, QT. Yeah, thank you. Uh, the salted pork, think of it like the hog jaw bacon, and then I put some bacon in it too. 40 thumbs up. Greatly it's appreciate that. It's a little tricky towards the end with these big knives. This is one from the restaurant, a big one. And you said, click that one. Still that one. Tigers up in here rocking, dropping that link. Y'all check out that. What is up, Oracles and Beyond? How you doing today? What's up, Oracles? Always good to see Oracles and Beyond. I highly recommend y'all grabbing them up as well. Wherever. And I always say I highly recommend y'all grabbing everybody up because if you want somebody to watch you when you go live, these people are the ones that do it. Yeah, these are all of our friends that come back every night on those. So we are just, not in the restaurant, obviously, guys, you got to wear gloves for ready-to-eat items. But we're just at the house, so. Teresa's still rocking with us right now, too. We got okay. Greg Manley and Red Ruby Sky. Digit Mark, Metal Detective said, this is making me so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So get you a good layer in here, y'all. Yeah, we took our metal detectors out to the Great Lakes. What lake was that that we went to? That was Lake Superior, and you've been... We were talking about it the whole way there. We were like, I bet that place is going to be a gold mine, and all that. We get out there, and damn, if there ain't already a bunch of people out there metal was, detecting. <laughs> it was, uh, but it was cool out. because I found a gold trinket with little diamonds in it that they clearly just walked right over. So even the most hunted out places can still have some treasure in the ground. Depends on what you're digging. I'm turning the collards on down. Got it on down. <laughs> Red Ruby Sky says, what is up the oracles and beyond? Yeah, we're coming out with another layer of the pudding over the top of the bananas. Just that easy, folks. Ooh -wee. And then I'm going to have to eat half that at night. That's my dinner right yeah, there. I, uh, I definitely <laughs> cannot skimp on the banana pudding in this house. I think it's still going to be gone by tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, it will. I'm going to share galore. Bam! Oracles, greatly appreciate that. Yes, thank you guys. I, I try to it. share everybody's content when I go to their channels. I, I share a lot of content, but I don't see that... I, it don't get many hits when I share something for some reason, but I still do Try. it. My Try. life ro loves cornbread. She saw Mrs. AAP cornbread. <laughs> it's good, too. I don't know if she cooks it like this, but it does turn out really good. So far, so good up in there. 
If y'all are wanting to drop your links to make it easy for everybody to grab you up, feel free to do so. This is my top layer, y'all. Let's see. We're sitting on seven percent battery right now. It's fine. I'm gonna come back across, y'all. Teresa Lagarde agrees with you. <laughs> so what is that? That's three tubs of cool up in this thing. Something like that. Holy smokes. Something like How can you go wrong with that much Cool Whip? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. We'll What's up, Fox Boy? <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> <Y> <laughs> Winter days. Winter I'm thinking days. I need to taste test. Uh, Make sure it's safe for y'all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so get it looking pretty, y'all. Swirl it around a little bit. Get it pretty. Yeah. Where's all the candles at? Right. <laughs> Look like a big birthday cake. And they come across the top. Now she's putting the crumbled vanilla wafers on there. Yeah. And then I'll push all the wedge and show you what it looks like. It's gorgeous. We just had to buy the Cool Whip Oracles because we had three spray cans of Cool Whip in the refrigerator that mysteriously disappeared overnight. Yeah. All right, watch But that. I love the regular Cool Whip out the shoot, tub better shoot, anyway myself. Shoot, 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 shoot. I don't let that. No, sorry. I'm going to let him the bowl. Oh, no, you, he can get a finger load. Before supper? Yeah. We'll get him a little finger load. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to move all the stuff in here. Well, just get the side of it there, Buds. No. <laughs> I want all the Did you taste these colors? No, you don't need to go all around. That's too much. Yeah. How is it? Good. <laughs> yeah, I tasted them. They're pretty good. I thought they needed a little bit of sugar. So sugar. now they need too much. Let me get a taste of that. Taste that. Tell me that it needs... Ooh, that's perfect. Mm. Uh, I would add salt to that. Heck no, you don't want no salt in there. Don't add more salt? No way. Okay. You called it. That's already salty. I can taste the salt. I can taste the ham. I can taste the sweet. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's a, it is absolutely perfect. Knife coming around. Watch out. Digitmart's dropping that link. Check out their channel. Digitmart, I got to go back through after the show too and make sure that I still got you on my notifications because for some reason, I haven't seen any content coming from your channel. So I've got to double check that because I'm sure you got something over there. And I appreciate you dropping the link right there too. That makes it easy for me to find you too. And that's one thing I recommend doing at the end of your live streams is go back through, check out your viewers, and make sure you go show them some love back. That'll keep them coming back, and it helps support their channel as well, too. And that's a big thing to me. I like to support those who support me, and that's a good way to do it. Mr. AP, I'm going to do a test bowl, show everybody with that. The next one turned out on, and then we can pull apart that meat. All right, so we're getting ready to pull apart the meat. I've got to plug this thing back in for a couple seconds. One thing that the molasses is great on is buttermilk biscuits. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, a little bit of molasses and butter on a buttermilk biscuit. Holy smokes, look at that. That's going to be delicious. You got graham crackers on the bottom. You got layers of bananas through the middle. You got Is it graham wafers. crackers or is it I mean, uh, vanilla yeah, wafers, vanilla right? Wafers. Yep, yep. Vanilla wafers, yes. We get a little scatterbrained every now and then, but these kids keep us going, so it's like... It's a crazy house all the time. I post most days normally about four minutes long, depending on the song. Bang! Joe Awesome One does sing a lot of different songs. Check yeah. him out. He's got some great content. Lots of awesome sky pictures as well, too. He's keeping an eye out for Nibiru. Y'all check it out. A lot of people know about Nibiru. A lot of people think it's real. A lot of people think it's fake. But I, I think that it probably is real because I believe that they associate Nibiru with Wormwood and I believe what the Bible has to say, so I do believe that that is a real planet, my friend. Okay, Miss Amy. I am. Time has come. Let's pull this pool apart. All right, let's see what kind of juice I got here on the phone. I'm at 7%, so I know I can unplug for a couple of minutes. You going to put it on that board over there? Loving the new kitchen setup, plenty of extra room and the counter space and being able to prep your food and move it straight over to the oven makes a huge difference. Yep, it does. Um, I don't need, I'm going to grab the colors with that. Let's see what else I got in here. No problem at all, Kayla. Hey, Kayla, good to see you. Yeah, and thank you for coming back too. She had to go feed the pup. Heck yeah. yeah. What kind of pup you got, Kayla? All right. 
All right, I'm going to detach again and we're going to go over here, find out what's going on. Okay, so let's try. we're going to find out what's going on over here. Okay, so let's this thing cooked enough, Mr. Avery. Got oh, some gosh. good old southern style Lipton. Ah! Woo! Big splatter. Lipton sweet tea. Always just a, well, I think that's a good sign. drink of the southern meal. Oh, yeah, it's falling apart, all right. <laughs> Holy moly. You got a pan that you can put under there? I'm trying not to get no juice on the cutting board. Well, you might not want to pour the whole thing out all at once. Well, I need to because I'm not going to keep all this juice in there. Goodness gracious. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to turn this on for a minute and uh, render that down. What do you think? That's the juice. Nah. No? Because we're going to be putting barbecue on the meat anyway. I'm going to leave some of that juice. Mrs. Yeah. AAP don't want to get rid of that juice. I don't want to get rid of that juice. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Where's my big giant fork? That's what I want. I'm not sure. My big one. Ah, boy, this thing smells so good. And y'all can find the recipe. Y'all can see that bone sticking out. Now that bone added a lot of flavor. The recipe is in the description of the last night of my dry rub. You sure wonder what on earth I put on that thing. I could have sworn I put that fork back over here, Mr. Andrews. You know, I pulled it out. Got it? You could use two pairs of tongs. I know. Okay, y'all. We are going to dive in. Oh my gosh, this meat's so tender. Look at that. What's up, Lily and Volk? How are you doing tonight? Thank you for joining. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I greatly appreciate it if you do. Absolutely. Y'all, look at this meat falling off this bone. I'll even, be returning the favor. I ain't even having to do nothing. Check that out. Man, oh my boy. Gosh. Oh, my goodness. That smells so good. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Check it out. Check it out. Lily and Volk, what kind of channel you got there? I'm going to steal me a little piece of that. Look at you sneaking over here. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Damn! Heck yeah! Oh, you're a trip. Man, that's the bomb, Mama. Thank you, darling. Look at that burnt end right there. Oh my goodness gracious! Digit mark metal detecting. That it. I'm going to raid my fridge. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Um, I don't do posts, but will soon. That's awesome, my friend. Y'all uh, check out this meat this evening. What kind of content are you thinking about putting out? Thinking of some ideas? And there's so many people on YouTube, it's hard to come up with your own idea, but I just say be you and do what you do. So we run a cooking show during the evening times. We do run a 420 channel as well, too. It's all combined into the same channel. Variety channel, you can say. You just got to keep that notification on. That way, when we go live, you oh, get that. Holy Mr. AP, this stuff is so juicy. You see how the juice falling off of this? Well, Lillian, when you go ahead and get some content out there, you're welcome to come back and drop your link. Bang, because you're blue now. If you'd like to drop your link when you get some content, if you catch us on our lives, feel free to do so. Oh, Mr. AP, this stuff is just falling apart. I mean, that's a lot of jagged meat. I'm trying to get some subscribers. Yeah. So if y'all haven't checked out Lillian Bulk yet, y'all check her out. I mean, look at that meat, y'all. It is gorgeous. It came out perfect. Looks better than the picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, that stuff is good. So we got the baked beans ready. We got yeah. the pork ready. We got the banana pudding ready. What are we waiting on, Mama? I'm gonna mix up my own. Barbecue. Southern people do know how to cook. <laughs> And my grandmother, she was, she grew up in North Carolina and South Carolina. She spent the last half of her years in South Carolina, and she was an excellent cook. And so Rebecca's granny actually knew how to cook really well, too. So we combined both our family's recipes together, and I, I ain't going to lie. A lot of the stuff we make is very, very, very good. <laughs> I sure eating. That's why I don't like to go out to eat, because I know that we can make it better, and it's not even going to be half of the price if you go out to a restaurant. And when it comes to pizza, I've already owned four different pizzerias, and I have a hard time finding good pizza. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Are you eating? Red Ruby said, Lillian Volk, it will slowly come to you. Bang, heck yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make our 
restaurant style and we had a now we're doing um I'm not making it from scratch I can make barbecue sauce from scratch I can make an amazing Carolina style I can make a red a dark brown I can make all kinds of uh, barbecue sauce especially a vinegar base is very popular around South Carolina where we're from what we did Mr. AP actually came up with this recipe and we were serving it in the restaurant on our barbecue chicken and no one knew how easy it was to mix it at home. It is beyond expectations of being the best mix of barbecue. This is our I've secret barbecue recipe. We don't never share this kind of recipe with everybody in the world, but I don't plan on opening up another restaurant, so we'll show y'all how we did it. Sweet fire recipe. If you get a sweet baby raised barbecue sauce and add Texas Pete to that, that makes it really good. But we like to add a little bit of yellow mustard based barbecue to it as well, too, that we get from Bessinger's Barbecue in South Carolina. Been there since the 1940s as well, too. They've got a great sauce and it makes a great additive to the sauce that we make as well. We do a solid one to one on the baby raised, the original sweet baby raised. And the original golden secret of Melvin Messengers. Do a one to one ratio on it. Thank you, Red Ruby. I just remodeled this kitchen for Mrs. AAP. Yeah. We literally, when we moved in here, the oven was sitting right here where the dishwasher is now sticking out. So the whole middle of the floor was took up with the oven. And we only had these cabinets and this counter space that you see right here. So by taking the oven out here, I was able to swap the dishwasher out, put it the right way out for one, and then give her a lot more prepping space over here. A new vent fan. That's the old vent fan there. What's I'm up, Mom? I'm going to do one cap full of Texas Pete in this. I did a one-to-one, -one, literally a cup to a cup. And I'm only going to come in with a cap full of Texas Pete for that entire batch. So you did one-to-one, -one, a cup of this, a cup of that? One-to-one -one and a cap full. Bessinger's Barbecue is a great, great, great place to go. If you ever go to Charleston, South Carolina, I recommend you stopping in at Melvin's. can order Melvin Bessinger's Barbecue Sauce online. Sweet Baby Ray's, one cup of each, and then just a tablespoon of no, Texas Pete. I, don't think, I think it was only about a teaspoon for that capful. Y'all, this is by far, we'll come over here in the light, Miss Avery. You can see how it lightens up. You see that kind of golden brown color? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the best barbecue sauce I've ever had. And we would smother and come up Thank you, Digit Mart. of our barbecue chicken out away from the cliff. Oh! Shelving was made with a bunch of these cast iron fittings that we got from Home Depot, built the whole shelf. We stained the boards uh, probably for under 30 bucks, maybe right at 30 to 35 dollars. But we were looking at a setup like this for sale on the internet. They wanted 450 bucks for the setup that you see right here. Okay. We built it for $35. Ooh, there's the cornbread. Convection baked for 20 minutes tonight, It's looking y beautiful. Mm. I'm going to dress it right now. That thing worked perfectly. It did. It's because I let it sit. The trick is to let it sit. And to run that butter along the edge, y'all, it'll be a really easy release. You hear that sizzle, Mr. Yeah, Fresh out. Hot, baby. I want to eat some. You want to eat some? We're about to fix some. No banana today. pudding until after we get our pork. We got some. No, we didn't. We're, We're going to get some in a minute. Hey, Ooh, you're gosh. live. You're live. <laughs> Oh, 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 boom, oh! Oh. You're live! You're live! <laughs> no banana pudding until after we eat. See the meat over here? Look. That's what we gotta eat first. We, you, you wanna wrestle, don't you? <laughs> little load. Get one little finger. Bam! Oh, there you go. You let him put his finger in it? There you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, look at that cornbread, Mr. AP. Yeah, boy. Melted oh. butter over the top. That thing's looking beautiful. Thank you. All right, so we got our meat. Now, I've been kind of debating in my mind, but I guess I'm going to toss some of the pan drippings. Come here and look at these drippings, y'all. 
Y'all know it kills me to toss pan drippings. That's some pure flavor right there, boy. Yeah, I'm gonna leave some of them in there. <laughs> you gonna stir the meat up and never to barbecue? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't get rid of too much of that then. A little bit of it, because there's some grease on top to separate. <laughs> Boy, you hey, monster. Yeah. You monster. Me, hey, get a towel and wipe his hands off real quick. Can't leave me with that. <laughs> <laughs> Them boys are getting hungry, so that's all right. Yeah. He'll still eat. He's a good little eater. Takes a little bit longer to video everything because we like to explain everything. Yeah. I've got to plug back in again, Mama. Okay. Just trying to keep my phone from cutting off. We're going to go over there and see what she's doing here in just a minute. The show is going to be coming to an end here in just a few minutes. Just want to look at a plate. We like to prep a plate before we end the show. Yeah. Make sure y'all keep your notifications on as well, too, because we're having some epic 420 giveaways. We had three winners today for everybody that is of age, and it has to be verified, you know, through email and everything. We do have some awesome 420 giveaways. I've got some 420 content out there. If y'all would like to check it out, feel free. Y'all can visit my channel whenever you want. What you doing, Snake? Ah, boy. Luke, come get this rascal. Lachlan, stop doing that. Mommy said to stop that. Oh, no, sir. Little rascal. Little Luke, dude. <laughs> Camera shy. I tried to get him to do a show with me. He don't want to do it with me. No, he not Cooking show. Oh gosh, this meat is so pretty. Just trying to get off this 5% here. It's okay. I'm over here. I'm just shredding this meat. That's all I'm doing. 6% right now. Orange is hanging in strong, too. We got Lillian rocking with us right now as well. Thank you, Lillian. That's the best one right there. We got Lillian rocking with us right now as well. Thank you, Lillian. That's the best way to do it. Leave comments on videos. Lillian, if you're looking to grow your channel quickly, leave the comments on the videos and they can go back and find you right there. That's an awesome part about the comment section is if you go to somebody's channel, leave the comment, even if it's just like, hey, how are you or whatever, because they might come back to you and then they might suggest your channel out. It's just a way to help your channel grow rapidly. This, some of this meat's too hot to handle, so I'm just... My phone is on 5% and I'm real okay. scared that it's going to just cut off. No, it's going to cut off on 5 Bill Rank, what is up? Hey, How you doing, Bill Rank? What you doing, darling? How are you doing? Good to see you, sis. Hope everything's going well. Yes. I am just cutting up the last of this pulled pork. We did a pulled pork Boston butt. And I'm just trying to... Bill Rank is another loyal subscriber, you know. If they come to your channel, they smash the like, they say what's up. Good to see you, Bill Rank. All pan drippings, I'm coating that meat in to keep it moist. All pan drippings. Right that's looking so good. I have not added any sauce to that. And I'm going to dress the meat on the table with sauce and leave these to soak in their pan drippings. But check out that bone, y'all. I mean, it fell off the bone. That's a butt bone, ain't it? It's a butt bone. <laughs> it is a butt bone. Thank y'all very much for the 44 thumbs up. Greatly oh, appreciate wow. that very much. Yeah, so good. I know it is. I'm so excited. It really don't even need any sauce, but you it know, does. you gotta put the sauce on it. I have sauce to I could eat it like that all day long. Yeah. Joe Awesome One said, keep shining brightly, everybody. Heck yeah, Joe Awesome One. Make sure to check out Joe Awesome One's channel as well, too. Sound Man said, love home cooking. Bam! <laughs> Heck yeah, Sound Man. And I'm for you. Got you a dish rag. Yeah. Some rags. Oh boy, it's getting hungry, guys. I never thought I would have six kids. My grandfather had seven kids. Yeah. You starving? Levi's getting hungry. You starving? <laughs> what are you doing? You got yourself looking good, eh? <laughs> Alright. Let me see if I can see this. Good old cornbread. What'd you call this other day? Johnny bread? This is a Johnny cake. Johnny cake? Yes. It's a skillet cornbread. 
My mother had 13. Holy smokes, goes prior. I feel sorry for that lady. Yeah, because once they get to a certain age, they help out. Yeah, I, I guess, but I feel sorry for the first half of their life. <laughs> I bet that was chaotic. Okay. Oh Back in the day, though, they like to pump them out. <laughs> what's up boys hi levi say what's up Bubba. say what's up yeah boy levi's doing great older brother lawton holding him right there lawton's a great boy when he was born i told my grandfather i was like his name's lawton and my grandfather heard me the wrong way, and he went to church and told everybody I named my kid Rotten. <laughs> and, and, and he just couldn't understand or believe why I would name my kid Rotten, but he was going to deal with it if I did. Look at our crust, <laughs> look at our crust layer right here, folks. That's, Beautiful. That's the reason that you oil up that pan with butter and get it preheated is for a gorgeous crust. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I better plug this in. This thing's about to cut off. If the okay. phone cuts off... We're going to plate it up right now, and we should be narrowing it down. I only have one with ex-wife. Yeah, one is very manageable, I can tell you that. Two is, is, is good, three is a little bit more extreme, and then as you get up to four, five, and six, it just goes into pure chaos mode. Oh. <laughs> and there's other people with more. I've seen that show, what, what they have, 20 kids or something? What was that? Something 19 kids and counting or something crazy? Yes. <laughs> you have a football team just about. Married 22 years so far. Joe Awesome won. Congratulations. And so was me and Mrs. AAP. We are actually just a couple of months shy of being married for 22 years, my friend. Yeah. Don't eat no more banana pudding. I want a little bite. Not right now because you're going to gonna eat your dinner. No, you ain't Three get no bite. bite. His hair ain't greasy. He just got out in the shower. No. You didn't? How'd your hair get all wet? Because I put it in the sink. You put it in the sink? <laughs> Is that what you've been doing? So you was going to try to tell me you had a bath later, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's joking, right? Yeah, he's just kidding. Let's see where we're at as far as the charge here. I got 5% battery life. Oh, yeah. I'm just standing on a charger here for just a second. We're going to show off this plate really quick. Yeah. Greatly appreciate everybody for coming in and showing your support by smashing the thumbs up. That's always a plus. Boy, that thing's looking beautiful, Mrs. AAP. I can see it from here. <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's go get a shot of that thing. Stop. No, it's, it's uh, a leaf. Bam. That looks mighty fine, Mrs. AAP. Thank you, girl. That's some nice butt. <laughs> Dirt Diggers UK. <laughs> Y'all check them out. So we greatly appreciate everybody again, once again. What do you think, Mrs. AAP? Another great night? Another great night, you guys. That's awesome. Can come up here if we can get Scuba light. Steve, what's up, bro? You just missed the show, my friend, Mr. but AP. thank you for coming in. Under the light, Mrs. AAP. We got our pulled pork barbecue, we got collard greens, we got baked beans, and we got cornbread, y'all. And then I made a big old batch of banana pudding. Yeah, that's a beauty. Can't wait to eat that. <laughs> what time so, is it? Once today? again, my friends, thank you all very much for joining us once again. What you holding on for, Mama? What time is it? William's on. Up, uh, William Newell. Bam! We got a William Newell Pops raid. Can you drop the link in there? I can't drop Our ghost link. pirate or somebody. Do y'all have the link for William Newell? If he's on, he he's going on minutes. at seven. Five minutes. Uh, my phone ain't gonna last, but hopefully we'll see y'all there. I've been chilling. I lurk when my boy is home. Bang! Heck yeah, man. So, we'll try to see y'all over there at William Pops New Well. He's going to be helping people grow their channels tonight. Yeah. Big shout out to him and everybody in here. Thank y'all once again for coming in and showing your support to Mrs. AAP and, and the channel. We greatly appreciate that. I'm going to continue plate and plates to get the young and settled. And Mr. AAP, we'll see y'all over at Pops New Well, William New Well's channel. There it is. Thank you, Oracles. You're right there, y'all. That is the link for William Newell. He's coming on in like four minutes. He may be on now. Grab up the link. To grow our channels together. Great shout out channel. Um, and he is an amazing guy. LK Computers, what's up, my friend? Hey, LK. Hello, hello. My phone's about to die. Yes. Greatly appreciate y'all very much. We'll see y'all over that William Newell's channel. Until then, until next time, y'all stay safe. 
Make sure y'all got the notification ring. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and be ready for another awesome 420 giveaway coming up. Bam! Y'all have a good night, my friends.